going to take you through Club Summary of the Moon, also said by Osi Ogbu. The Moon also says it's a fascinating story set in Siakupu, a typical African village in Nigeria and the University of Nkasi, a modern African university. It gives an interesting perspective of the conflict between traditional expectation and modernity. It's a story that revolves around two women, mother and daughter, Mama Obi and Obi herself. Mama Obi is a widow who is a devoted Christian and has set her mind on raising her children and giving them a good education. She is a strong woman but also kind and generous. Virtue sweets don't go well with her brother in law, Pa Okolo, who tries to in vain make her life hell. He is a cowardly bully who gets other people to do his dirty work. Despite being literate, Mama Obi knows that the education of her children, more so her daughter Obi, will bring about a big difference in her family. In the star widow in Siakupu, she knows only to well the difficulties that women face in her community. Obi is an auxiliary teacher, but her dream is to join university. The story was as Obi is admitted in university, and mother and daughter struggles to push through the challenges brought about by male chauvinism present on both traditional and modern setting. When Obi joins university, she hopes life would be different since people would be educated, but the challenges she encounters are sometimes unbearable. Before she helped her mother to offer advice, now she is the key decision maker. She sums up the university as the jungle is full of traps. You skip one, you are caught in the other. You can never be immunized against the attack. You have to hope, skip and jump. Obi struggles to lead a full life in a modern but ever male dominated world. She must face the conflicting demands of education and her career and her relationships with Chiki, with whom she pursues a modern and open sexual relationship, but in a society which is still in many ways conservative, she must then deal with the consequences for the for her future of becoming the novel tells an ordinary tale of, no, of love, campus life, family life, and widowhood, but places all this in a gender context that is at once familiar for its topicality among the global institution and unfamiliar for the cultural environment in which it is addressed in this novel. The plot surrounds Mama Obi, a devout Catholic and widow, working a negotiating relationship in a strongly patriarchal society. She is confronted with the arduous task of bringing up her children or by herself, while at the same time, warding off the destruction caused by tradition as victimized in her Okolo's constantly. When her first daughter of Big got admitted into the university, Mama is again forced to deal with scars of modernity which university life had left from her daughter. In a way, the subject of the novel could be viewed in the context of the childless struggle between tradition represented by Pa Okolo, Christianity represented by Mama Obi, and modernity represented by Obi. But this compartmentalization is not clear cut as each of these characters also has allegiance across the board. For instance, Obis will is quick to defend tradition, traditional values in her this, this discussion with Chris, while Mama Obi considered it her duty to adhere to village customs when the elders of herself ruled that Obeta should be ostracized for committing murder. Though it, it contradicts Christian principle to do so, a better way of reading the subject of this novel, therefore, would be in the context 
of the paradoxical challenges facing a society in a state of relax. The title also comes in chapter 12 when a man called Mark finds Obi and Chike spending some quality time at the beach as they enjoy the new found love. The title alludes to the elements of justice. It is a kind warning to all those who do wrong, but at the same time, it is an encouragement to all those who are suffering that there is hope. Mark addresses Chike and Obi and tells them that although they seem to be enjoying the full moon, things will change because the moon also sets. He expresses belief, disillusionment with the way things are messed up. Despite his strange behavior and appearance, he talks a lot of things about what service they deliver in her country, which is full of quirks and the and the devil with grand corruption and characterized by moral generals. Including Chike and Obi, he tells Laba that it seems like a full moon for them, but specifically once the girl, but young girl remember the moon on society. By implication, the blissful moment as the one new and the day shall surely one when and bring forth that moment. On the other hand, the data seems to preach a message of optim optimism. Mark seems to suggest that time will come when things will change for the better. Just like the moon says to give way for the sunrise to start a bright day. The numerous changes that occur in the novel also help to give meaning to the title. The narrator had less things are no longer the same in Siakoko. The moon had set on the daughters of Ndu, Ndumwa, Abu. Their drums and floods had been silenced by greed, modernity, and corruption. The dancing steps of their daughters had also become timid and less city. The moon has therefore said, so the demon is replaced with another religious leader. But Okolo commits his bed, and Ben is arrested and sentenced. The Igwe has disappeared from the palace and escapes to Glavos on her six month business trip. Obi gets pregnant and Tinga Lida is in a abortion induced by Chike and Okoro. Professor Apana's sexual experience are exposed. GK loses his place in Obi's heart and is replaced by Chris. Towards the end of the novel, Obi remembers the madman and the dish who reminded her that the moon also said. Thank you for watching. Let's meet at the next when I'll be taking